So here we are in Marmaris and look at the bloody weather. <laughs> it's really nice, it's about five o'clock, it's still really warm. And I've all checked into my hotel, which is uh, pretty cool. Actually got a pool and there are actually people outside the pool chilling out, which is crazy. It's a real holiday maker's place, probably more so than anywhere I've been so far. So I guess what I should do to get into the holiday maker spirit, the Englishman abroad, is go on an old fashioned English pub crawl. And just around the corner from where I'm staying, there appears to be many bars. So I'm going to have a few beers and then finish the night with a lovely curry, like a typical Englishman. This is definitely the uh, most resorted place I've been to so far, I think. Just over there we've got a sports direct, not direct, but direct. And uh, if you come down here, we have McDonald's on the left, there's a KFC over there. It's all aimed towards the reluctant tourist who's too scared to try local food. A Chinese restaurant and an Indian restaurant with a chef from Bradford apparently. Taj Mahal. <laughs> from Bradford, no bullshit. I think that's where I'm going to be uh, having my food tonight. But first, it's time for a good old fashioned English pub call. I have a McDonald's over there and just above it we've got a Chinese restaurant called Red Dragon. It's even got an English name for a Chinese restaurant. But I'm not interested in that now. Well, over here, we've even got fish and chips. Can you believe it? They do chips and mushy peas, chips and curry, chips and gravy, chips and baked beans. Not french fries, proper... Proper, proper, ah, proper right. chips. That's what the English room like, you see? Kebab, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homemade pizza. Can I have a look at a look? Yeah. I say, I'm okay for now, but I'm literally staying just around the corner. So, <laughs> so you even got mushy peas with the fish and chips. Right. Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. Wow, you got it all, mate. Make it potato, pocket potato. Oh, is this like they come here, yeah? Yeah. Have a Fantastic. look. We're making fresh, oh, wow. fresh, proper chips. They are proper chips, so yeah. that's what you want. No french fries with fish and no chips. French proper fries. french fries. Okay. I'll be back, my friend. Right, Take care. Here we are then. This is the main Mamras beach, which is about 10 kilometers long, I think. Goes right down to another beach down there in the cove. And yeah, it's not bad, is it? What the hell? Michael Jackson, Elvis, and Tina Turner tonight. It's not a bad lineup. Well, just on this square around here, you can pretty much do a pub crawl around a lot of the major cities in the UK. So, first one is the Ivox Bar. So, if you're a fan of Rangers, that's the place to come. Oh, it actually is open. So, I suppose we should start in Glasgow then. Oh wow, you've got Iron Brew in here. Iron Brew? Oh, I don't want one now, I've just, seen, I've just spotted it. I've not seen that for a long time. Oh, it's a Scottish, Scottish drink, isn't it? Um, FS uh, bottle? Yeah, just one. So first drink in Monmouth, and we're in Glasgow at the Ibrox bar, and they actually serve Iron Brew in here, which is really cool. I'll be coming back for some of that after the uh, hangover, maybe tomorrow. So let's start in Scotland. Well, my pub crawl across the UK has come to a gigantic fail because I'm still in Glasgow because I've met a bunch of reprobates here uh, uh, and uh, I can't leave. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? No, no, this is hello. There we go. You can say hello. Yay! <laughs> so here we are, Ibrox Bar in Marlowes. We've got Anfield, we've got Manchester, we've got Geordies, but yeah, we'll stay here. Best bar in Marlowes. Yeah. <laughs>
I mean, look at that. That's a bloody curry outside, isn't it? Look at the bloody size of the place. Is it even still open? Do I even still want to go there? That's like a lot more than it was in Alt Income. It's like 190 in Alt Income. Man, I could just get a kebab for like 20. Hi. Hi. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect this. You know? yeah. um, this uh, here is good for me. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So I appear to be in uh, this Chinese restaurant, which is. I thought this was Taj Mahal, and, but it's not. Wow, well, this menu is just like. There's this, and then there's this. And there's sushi and there's bloody all sorts. Let's have a look. Chicken dishes. I thought this was uh, the Indian restaurant, but apparently not. Where's the duck? Duck, 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 duck. 197. That's £10. Special offer. Oh, okay. Special offer, make your own menu for your most favorite meals. You can choose a starter, a main course, and a side to order to your desire and pay a fixed price to stay to below. It's going to cost me like 20 quid or something like that. Um, I, 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 I thought I was going to order duck, but I didn't. I forgot to order duck. But I've ordered like a special menu, and so I get a starter. Uh, a main course, a side, and a glass of wine and everything, and yeah, this all looks pretty good. Thank you. Just me up here. <laughs> it's got a great view, look at that. Great view over that street down there. I don't know if it's too early or too late. I left the bar. As it was like really filling up, so maybe I don't know. Maybe this place like kind of fills up at like midnight or something, or maybe it's just dead because we're out of season. I don't know. Anyway, so it's, it's a pretty impressive restaurant to be honest. 
and I've just had the, um, well, I had the stars, prawn crackers and a couple of dips. They're very nice. And I had the um, chicken, sweet, sweet and sour chicken. I've never ordered sweet and sour, but apparently that's what I ordered tonight. Wow. Lovely, thank you. Cheers, man. So I got my plain chow mein, yeah, plain noodles, and I got my um, whatever that is. Uh, I can't, oh, it's a special curry, that's what that is. So there should be a bit of everything in there. It might be a little bit spicy, it smells spicy. I cannot expect a plate. And here we go, yeah, thank you. Cheers, man, thank you very much. And so here we go, I got a plate there, I can mix it all together. Let's get into this shit. Okay, so I've just chucked a bit of everything onto my plate and uh, gave it a good go, you know? Yeah, it's all right, I've, I've had a, a few munches on, on this. So what do I think? I thought this was an Indian restaurant and it turns out to be a Chinese restaurant. And the weird thing is, it actually tastes like a combination of the both. This is clearly like chow mein noodles this is the special curry which i kind of thought would have like prawns and beef and chicken and stuff like that it kind of appears to be well okay i've not found a prawn yet there's chicken in there there's maybe a little bit of beef maybe i don't know but the thing is it actually tastes more like indian food than chinese food and it's actually really bloody nice I was not expecting it to be as nice as this. I was expecting it to be some kind of, you know, like kind of Chinese curry sauce type thing. And it's really, really nice. It's really, really good. So here we go. I've got all this to get through. And a lovely glass of wine. What a bloody start. It's a marmorous. There's the um, meal. There's my plate. And there's the noodles. Now you may think this is just, you know, he's been out all night, so he'll eat anything, because I've not eaten anything. But seriously, that is the best Chinese restaurant meal I've had, like, maybe ever. That was absolutely stunningly beautiful. It's not because I'm hungry, because, uh, you know, I, I'm hungry, I eat at McDonald's, I know it's shit. Yeah, I know he, uh, he does a job, but wow, that was absolutely fantastic, unbelievably good. Yes.